Hey, today we're going to be talking a little bit about driver's licenses. I did a 30-second uh, video on Twitter, but uh, there's a lot more and I didn't really get to say anything. So, here we go. <clears throat> so, as far as I know, driver's licenses in Japan come in three flavors. Green, which is the one that you get right after you pass the test the first time. Uh, it indicates a beginner and lasts for about a year. So after that, then when you renew or after that year is up, then you can graduate from green to blue. And the blue license is just a regular license. Uh, these days, automatic transmissions are, if you get the automatic transmission, you have to take a special license test for manual transmission because they want to know that you're not going to stall out on a railroad track, which is probably a good thing. And uh, it also includes large trucks that are also automatic transmission. So that's something that changed from the first time that I got my license. Uh, the large over eight ton, six ton, eight ton trucks were not included in that original set of licenses. So. The next level up is gold license. And this is the one everybody wants because uh, when you renew a gold license, you don't have to take the, you don't have to take any tests. You don't have to sit in uh, driver education videos, and it takes much less than the full day, where the blue license takes generally the full day. Uh, and you also get various discounts and stuff like that around. Most importantly, you get a discount on insurance, on car insurance. Car insurance here is fairly inexpensive. Um, I think mine for basically comprehensive collision and just even if I bump stuff, costs uh, about $300 a year. So that's not so bad. Um, yeah, it's a pretty decent deal. Uh, considered to be probably 300 bucks a month back home. So I pay eh, less than 40 bucks a month my insurance for my car. Um, now the car has uh, anti-lock brakes but doesn't have an airbag so if I had airbags again I'd, I'd get another discount on top of that. Now I, the, one of the other things about my insurance is only people who are 35 and older can drive my car and be covered so by putting that restriction on it I get a little bit extra discount because that means nobody young is going to be driving my car, nobody inexperienced probably is going to be driving my car, etc. So it's not a horrible deal and you get a discount on it. However, if you get any moving violations, uh, next time you go in to renew your license, you move from gold back down to blue, which is kind of crappy. And uh, so I was pulling in to practice one day at the sports center and there was a big lineup of cars waiting to, to go for a red light. And I pulled in and, and was waved in by a person driving a flat panel truck. So kind of a big truck, hard to see, impossible to see around. And uh, somebody wearing, or wearing, <laughs> driving a scooter was coming up the sideline as fast as they usually go, 40 kilometers or so. And basically rammed into the side of my car um, as I was pulling in. I did not get a ticket 
for it, which was good. However, uh, I did lose my gold license the next time, uh, the next time the renewal came around. So I was really very angry about that. And fortunately, because it was her fault, uh, my insurance didn't go up, which is good, but only a minor, <laughs> uh, minor benefit. So yeah, because the discount on the gold, so basically my insurance went up, I lost it that way. But I didn't lose it for another two years, so that was good. Uh, so recently, I've gotten a rolling stop ticket, and so I will be keeping my blue license for another uh, for another cycle. Um, so I just renewed my license, just renewed? Recently, no. My license renewal is coming up in two years. And so when I renew that one, it will also be blue, and I'm very sad about it. So I am blue, because uh, you have to have five years clean on the, on the license for it to be able to go to gold. Um, the Really, the big benefit is when you go in, uh, and people take note, oh, you have a gold license. It's a big, kind of a big deal. So yeah, it's fun. All right, um, I'm gonna throw some other videos in and around, uh, like this one. Because I'm sitting down in uh, the Umeda area of Osaka today, I have to go to the dentist, and so I figured I'd treat the dentist by having some coffee before I go. Uh, yeah. So, uh, enjoy some of the video from around Umeda, and I will talk to you later. Bye.